36 because we got the 5 points from playing him. And he needs 20... Yeah, because our Pilgrims trigger again, right? So we get another 20 points. GG wasn't getting out of that one. This is going to be a pretty standard-ish Renew deck with Colgrim. And the reason we're making this is because back a little bit ago, I made a Lockdown Colgrim deck for one of our subscribers slash viewers. And in that video, I said I'd make a regular version to show what that was like. And, well, here we are. Shouldn't be too difficult here then. You've probably seen something like this quite a bit, but there are some interesting things to do with the deck. So, we have Tactical Decision for the draw three. Really good. I'm running Collar just for a bit of control. You want to win round one because you have very strong tempo round one. And the only way you kind of lose that tempo battle is if they have enough engines that you can that they outvalue you, right? So I want this Collar to help control that. Because that's really our main lose condition round one is if they can outvalue us with engines. The exception to that would be something like Skellige with the discard package. They can keep up pretty well. But outside of that, the collar will help lock down any of the problematic engines that will otherwise make us lose round one. So we have Sunset Wanderers for tempo round one, obviously. We have Renew because we're playing a Renew deck. This is for round three. We have Letho Kingslayer and the Colgrim for our win condition and Fifion to protect it. Roach got a buff, so this deck got better because he's an extra point. We have the Gorther Gaved for an extra uh, Viper Witcher. You can also make the Mentor in round three if you end up in a situation where you end up in a round three and you don't have Colgrim or Renew and you need this. Or like something happened round two and you went all in. Snowdrop is to combo with Tactical Decision. You do not have to combo with Tactical Decision, but it is way better if you do. It helps you find your cards. Then Man's Tongue banishes two cards, then our deck. We obviously sent the for the place in the Guardian. Uh, if you don't need Renew, because say you go to round three with Colgrim and Kingslayer and your Fifion, and you didn't go for round two with Colgrim, Cynthia is not a bad card to uh, renew at some point. You have Afan to come off the top of your deck. Nicker's got a provision buff, which is nice, so gave us extra provision somewhere. This deck got two buffs. We have the code of weapons for control and to deal the opponent's stuff, and then they get an extra card in their deck. Obviously, I added a Nilf Guardian Knight. This could be any five version card you really want. Could be an assassination if you want more control. Could be whatever. I just like the Nilf Guardian Knight as an opener option because we were kind of lacking on that. Two Alba Armored Cavalry. You could just run one. I like having the control. Like I said, round one, our main lose condition is if they have big engines set up. And this helps with it. The only thing that it doesn't help with is if the engines are behind a defender. As you can see, we have no invocation. So you could put a Purify in here instead. That is certainly an option. Um, a Peller wouldn't be bad as a four provision slot since we have that pretty free. That wouldn't be a bad addition. We have the Viper Witcher, supposed off the top of their deck. Tortoises, this is a very, very flexible spot. This could be whatever four person card you want. Like I said, you could put a Peller here. You want a Squirrel, you could put a Squirrel here. Both are pretty good options. I just have the Tortoise as it's a seven for four, essentially. And we have the Vico Varo Novices. I run two. Uh, it's a backup to your leader ability. It helps find your cards. Essentially, if your leader and Snowdrop misses, you can use these to activate your Mage Assassins and your Afans. They also help you find your cards round two if you're missing them. And want to go in for a big round two push, so I like having them. And then we have the two Mage Assassins, quite obviously. So yeah, this is the deck. Cards to note for teching in are, like I said, you can these uh, spots for the Novices and Tortoises are flexible. I'd try to run at least one Novice, probably. But for the Tortoises, you could have the Squirrel here. You could have a Spores. You could have a Peller. Whichever one you like best, it's up to you. But that's it for the deck, and let's see how it does, and see if we can't get some wins here. Our first opponent will be a Fruits of Yisneth player. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so our issue here is they have really strong engines that we can't, but we can deal with. We need locks, essentially. I want our control tools. We don't want Roach. We have a coated weapons, that's nice. I'd also like an elbow armored cavalry. If at all possible. Otherwise it might be a little bit short on the control aspect here. Um yeah. I don't know if I mentioned this in that we don't need the renew for round one. Perfect with the armored cavalry. I don't know if I mentioned this in the deck profile here. The Athon and the Mage Assassins you want in your hand for when you use your leader ability. So you put them on top of your deck. Pretty standard stuff. If you're newer to the deck, that might not be a... Or newer to the game, I guess you want to know that. But that's pretty common nowadays. 
Guess we got our Cynthia with our Roach. Like I said, we don't have many opener cards, right? We want to lock something with Calvary. want to hold on to Colgrim and uh, Kingslayer. Like I said, we want control tools. We'll just banish this one and put it on top of his deck for now. He will get it next round. We do have a lock. And there might be something scarier to lock, like the uh, Bloody Mistress slash Skernicora. Might want to lock that. And we can't go to weapons it. So even though we give him one for a later round, it's probably better. Okay. We go for our Snowdrop here. Draw two. I do like Albert Armor Cavalry. Uh, we only need one, though, I think. Two might be pushing it, because we do have the Collar. We'll go for it. Warriors here, and we'll try our last Mage Assassin. Not the end of the world if we don't. We do have the two, and we have the Novices for later to use. Um, hmm. Viper Witcher is really good for doing stuff here. I guess he didn't play a scary engine. We can put this Cavalry back. We do have the... He has a nice hit right there, extra damage. We do have the collar, and we're up by so much that I don't think he'll be able to come back too hard. The Rat Catcher is sort of an engine, but it's not like a scary engine. That's fine. I guess we give him one of those. It's not the worst four provision card to have in your deck, but we have to give him some stuff, so that'll be it. Two dead nobles. Uh, that was not really the intent, but we'll get an extra damage potentially there. Extra Rat Catcher S is uh, not the card I was speaking of. Happens sometimes when I'm talking and playing at the same time. Whatever. Now, let's go for this. Give another Viper Witcher. This time, we will put it Your on the correct card. Great deal, my lord. Much better. This is the first game of the day, guys. Sometimes we mess up the first game a little bit. A warm-up. Call it a warm-up. So, he has those. He has... Okay, this is what we wanted our lock for. We don't have the lock anymore, though. However, we do have the collar, which is why I said we didn't really need the Alba Armored Cavalry. Because the collar would probably be enough. I don't think we want one of them in our deck. I probably don't want the... The Code of Weapons isn't bad, because he has the self beaters Let's boost by 10 here. Let's give him one of these. He's going to have the bonded, but even with the bonded, it's better than having some of his big cards. And we lock this. Now, unfortunately, we can't lock a she who knows. And we do have to play renew next turn if we play something. I don't think he'll keep going, though. We're up by 24. And the longer he goes, the more we stack his deck. He might just try and survive our round two because he knows his round two engines are really good. Okay, yeah, that's what he's going to do. We will pass. So ideally, renews just for round three. Like, we put it back in our deck as a backup option if we don't win round two with our all-in. Which we need uh, Fifio to attempt. Okay, there he is. So yeah, usually put back renew. But in this case, I'm going to hold on to it. We might have to renew an Alba Armor Cavalry, because we're going to have some issues here. The other thing is, if he is playing some kind of control, which I highly, highly doubt. And if he is, it'd be a heat wave. We might need to uh, use the renew on something. But most likely, it'll just be for a Cynthia. The reason I really kept it, though, is in case we need a second Alba Armor Cavalry. Okay, so we can lock that. Which we will. That's pretty good. Uh, he comes out. We draw. That's not the best card. But as long as we can keep the engines being locked, we should be okay. So, I guess I'll explain this here. The reason we go for this big two-round push is because we get Adrenaline 1 for Colgrim. Right? Okay, what's he going to pull out? It's not going to be anything good. There's a big one. We beat Govaro Novice. He gets his She Who Knows out. Good for him. He was probably trying to hit our Letho, but that's in our hand by now. If he had that round one, we could be in trouble. So he does have another Rat Catcher, as we know, because I accidentally gave it to him. But uh, that shouldn't be too big a problem. So like I was saying here, the reason we go for the 2-0, usually with this deck, is because Adrenaline triggers when you have a certain number of cards in your hand, right? So we get Adrenaline 1, Colgrim triggers. If we won round 1, 
he has an extra card over us round two, and Colgrim will get an extra trigger of his adrenaline, so he gets you more points. It's interesting. It makes it a really good two round push. And we kind of like those decks on this channel. We like going for two round pushes. Uh, we might go for Cynthia. I don't know if we need the second Armored Cavalry here. He's gonna... I don't think we do, so I think we go for Cynthia. Like, we could have locked She Who Knows, but we're just going for 2-0. We don't have a round 3 at all without Renew, and we have to play it here. There's the Rat Catcher S. Now there is a 14 card differential in our deck, so this will be very, very difficult for him to overcome. However, he's playing Relics, and they have big point swings. So, like you can see here, we have our Adrenaline 1 already. So we have one Colgrim trigger. He's going to play the Bonded. It's fine. We have our second Letho. Or Letho for our second Colgrim. And this will be the last turn. Normally, if we had, say this was a normal round that we were, we had last say, this would be all the points we get. But in a two round push scenario, he has extra cards over us. So we get an extra trigger here of an extra 28. That's why going for the two rounds so strong with us. By the way, look at all these points. Relics are still doing their thing. But we do come out on top with 119 points. GG. All right, there's a pretty, that's a pretty standard game other than giving him an extra Rat Catcher S. Honestly, though, I think Rat Catcher S, was, Rat Catcher S was worth less points in the end than another one of the, uh, which is Apprentice. Not which Apprentice. Whatever the Fort Vision one is. Okay, so Jackpot here, we have a slight problem in that our round three usually consists of renewing a Colgrim, but his Savala is bigger than that. So that won't work. Our other issue is that he should have a lot of bounty synergy and stuff. And we don't actually have a good first play other than Cynthia. So we're going to have to try and keep up. He's going to have really big swings. And if he gets bounties going, we might be in trouble. I'm not sure if he's bounty. He could also be Salamander. If he's a Salamander, we should be very good. We have a very good matchup in Salamander. Because we always go for the two around push, essentially. And that is their weakness. And if it does go to round three, we renew our call room. And they don't really have a way to stop that. Let's see what he does. So it looks like it's just going to be bounties. That's fine. Cynthia's going to die. He's going to get six coins. It's a little bit annoying. We don't really have a great play here. Uh, with Adrenaline 6, right, on the Viper Witcher. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We play one. We need one more turn before we play Viper Witcher. Trying to think ahead here. We'll just have to throw this out with no lock. We do have the collar, but again, we're going to be short a lock here because we don't we don't have a lot of good first like first turn plays. I guess we lock that spender with the collar, giving him another one's not ideal. But as long as he has a spender, he can spend the coins. Giving him the multiple spenders isn't that bad. Well, it's not bad for us. That is. I think it's Gorthor time. And where is our Viper Witcher? I think ahead here. We'll do this. I think we do lock this. Hopefully he doesn't have another spender. And if he does, hopefully it is King of Beggars. <laughs> and he has to use Svala. Or she doesn't have any bounties out yet, so if he does have a spender, he may not might not be playing it. Uh, let's give him this smuggle back. It's probably his worst card in his deck. And I think we go for leader here. We don't have snowdrop, but sometimes you have to play this without snowdrop. It's really good to get an extra two cards. I say an extra two cards because putting the mage assassins back from our hand essentially just gives us an extra two cards. Uh, I don't know about coded weapons. Uh, I don't, we can't use coded weapons on those. Okay, good. We didn't hit double on the long regain. Uh, we can't play anything on top of his deck here. Let's play this. We'll banish Nolf Guardian Knight, perhaps. No, I don't think the tortoises. We don't want to have anything that's really tall in case he's playing a... What's it called? Scoundrel? Nolf Guardian Knight's better than those, though, because if he hits those with Scoundrel, he will get an extra point off of it. And Nolf Guardian Knight's a little better overall, so... If he's playing Scoundrel, he does have a target still, but that's okay. You can't get rid of three cards with one. Alright, there's the pass. We were up by 32, so that makes sense. Now we have to push round two. 
And we have to go for the Colgrim here. Okay, so here's our plan. Well, the, the plan's... The reason this deck's popular is because the plan is very straightforward. You put stuff on top of their deck. Defender, Colgrim, Letho. That's the plan. Round three, if they go to round three, renew. That's the plan. It's very, very straightforward. Very easy to follow. I think that's part of why this deck's popular. It's very easy to use. So our plan, though, is we have the Colgrim. There is a Mage Assassin in our deck we don't want still. I think we go for Snowdrop because I want to draw... I think I want to put Renew back into our deck here and show off the round three stuff. But we have Novice and Afan, actually, so we have to keep those. So we can trigger that. Coated Weapons. I think the Viper Witcher. We'll hold on to Renew here. In case we need the lock. I was talking about putting it back in. But I think we might need the lock here. And they do have more lease in some of these decks for a destroy. If he destroys Fifion, I want to renew it. The other thing is he doesn't have Kurt. Kurt has Purify, so he'd probably do that instead. But he might not have the Kurt, right? So we will keep the uh, renew here. It's very flexible. We'll draw. Okay, good. We got a lock. That's what I wanted. We'll put Afan back in. Coming up. Pretty good. Looking good so far. Not a bad start to the game. I guess it's the mid-game now. We have to watch out for the... Okay, this is one thing. We have to watch out for a spender. And we have to watch out for a... Uh, what's it called? We have to watch out for especially um, June, or Freak Show. Because that can kill through our defender. I was really hoping that'd be Nilfgaardian Knight. So if he has Scoundrel, it wouldn't hit anything good. I guess Scoundrel's coin neutral either way. Uh, I guess we give another one of those. Deck size differentials getting pretty big here. Pretty big here. Now, what do we renew here? It could be Cynthia. Could also be the uh, lock guy. Although we don't need him. I was holding on to renew as an option to get him. It's not a great renew target, obviously. Really want renew for round three. But I don't want to do a round three here because his Savala will be bigger than our Colgrim. So we're going all in on round two, even more so than normal. And the reason, the only way we lose this round two, I think, is if he has some kind of spender engine set up. So having access to that lock is a little bit more important than anything else. A block two on armor, that's nice. He does have the Savala set up now. We'll go for the defender. If he has more elise for a destroy, we'll have to use it here. And then we can renew next turn on this. Otherwise, he's probably going to Kurt purify it. The other option is he might have to freak show. Interesting. Freak show is dangerous, but the thing is, he can't. We have uh, our Colgrim come down so comes down as a 13, so we'd have to leader to do it, right? Let's pass. We will renew Fifi on next round. We can't risk it, right? If he kills our Colgrim, we lose the game. So we'll have to go to the short round here. If the ring won't come off, just take the whole finger. Yeah, that was the issue. If he kills the Colgrim, we lose the game, right? And he hasn't played Freak Show yet. And he might still have the more release. So we could have gone for it there, but this hand is perfectly set up for round three. We, re we renew the defender, and then we go for all this. I think we don't want Vicovaro Novice. We'll go with this hand. Our problem is he's still a Svala. He survived the round two. Maybe we don't hold on to Renew. I really want to go for the all-in though, and then if he kills the defender, because I was kind of thinking about, a lot of times they'll just power through the defender with a freak show as well. So you really want it, protect your stuff. Except when they're playing more least now and they'll power through your defender with spending and bounty. So I was kind of thinking we might need him to be revived. Turns out we didn't, and that might cost us. Might cost us. We'll see. Uh, I guess we just play Nilf Guardian Knight here. Now he's gonna Caesar or Caesar might be a problem. If he has that in Svala, that's so many points. I think we are in trouble. And since we are going to a regular round three, we don't get the extra turn. Okay, there's the Svala, King of Beggars. I think we could weapons King of Beggars. 
It might be his only uh, spender. I think we do. Yeah, it's probably the best target. He's not going to have any more tribute cards. So he's not coming out again. He's not giving you any more value. Like, they only run the two tribute cards. So that's not a danger of value from it. And if it's the only spender, this is well worth it. A lot of times it is, by the way. It's the only spender. Uh, let's see here. He's going to go for that guy. Now, that is another spender. We could... So, here's what I'm thinking. We can either renew our defender or renew a lock for this. If we renew a lock and it's his only spender, we gain... 9 value, I think. Oh, he's going to have a bounty spender, though, if he's doing that, probably. I think it's our defender. We'll, we'll evaluate afterwards. I think he's going to win this because he's got more points than we can get. Really wouldn't go do this in the round two, but he removed our defender. If he's holding um, June, or Freak Show, we know that um, probably we wouldn't have been able to do it round one. Or round two. Probably wouldn't have worked out. Okay, yeah, there's a spender. So we do block that bounty from working out. That's nice. Damn you all. Why would I kill a child? So he was going to have a spender. It wasn't. It's not the ideal spender, obviously. He would have to do bounty then damage through our um, defender, but he'd still get value there. He's going to win this one. GG though. Slander. So yeah, we did the best we could, but looks like he will have all the points he needs to win here. That round two, I guess we should have gone for. He didn't actually have the freak show, but it's hard to tell, right? He could have bountied and killed it. GG. Let's do one more. Yeah, that last one, um... We could have gone all in round two and one, I think. Because he didn't actually have a junior or a freak show in his hand. But we didn't know that and he hadn't played it yet. They also run more elise. And they, sometimes if you more elise your Colgrim, you lose. I guess we could have gone for it. It's all up to you. It depends. Like, that was an interesting game. Either way. We will lock this. I'm guessing we're getting Vigilante spammed with bounties. Unfortunately, it's our only lock. So he's the second one. He does have the second one. Uh, he will get a lot of value then. But there's nothing we can do about this other than just, like, tanking the damage. Let's go Dead Man's Tongue. Probably don't want the tortoises here. Usually I banish those. Okay. That's fine. Good value there. I haven't tried that guy out yet. The, um... What's it called? I don't know what the guy's called. The new guy. Not the new guy. The guy they buffed. I haven't tried him out yet. Might do that. We will see. We will see. You might notice we're still not in pro rank. That's because I'm playing a lot of the new Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel since that came out lately. And I've played Yu-Gi-Oh! before. So that'll be pretty fun. We're doing a lot of that instead of playing Gwent. So if you're wondering why we're not in pro rank yet, because I'm playing that instead a lot of time. But I said I'd do a video on this, and as someone pointed out, I hadn't done it yet. Okay, we'll go for the Novice here. Novice on a Fawn's nice. Or Mage Assassin. Let's do Mage Assassin. Zap. So he does have the Scoundrel here. Get our knickers out. That was a weird sentence. Very weird sentence. Now, we still have this mage assassin, so our leader will be less will be smaller than normal. Is he really gonna try and go through all that? He probably will, right? Yeah. It's not the most efficient for him because he went through a boost. But not too bad either. He also went through an armor. Oh, uh, we can go for the Viper Witchers here. I really don't want him having a bunch of these Vigilantes. But it's our only target. And honestly, if we can get, like, coded weapons or something next round, it's not too big a deal. Not too big of a deal. Okay, he's going to look. He might play that, honestly. The one we gave him. 
Now he's going to set up the tribute for the Svala and King of Beggars. Salamandra has no fear of fire. Uh, he took... Well, we got one extra point there because he had to throw with Nickers and Nickers had armor. I'm not sure that was the right call, but that's the call he went for. I think we can do our Gorthor now. Yeah, we'll go for Gorthor and we'll go back for Witcher. If he peeps going, we'll give him another one of those. He really doesn't want any more of those, I don't think. You just play the one. Better than giving him the Vigilantes. If he keeps going, we play our leader next turn. I don't really want to, but we will. It's better than playing our Renew or our Letho. Sunset Wanderer is not quite going to come out yet, though. We'll get an extra turn on him by doing that. Which I actually honestly don't really want. I want him to come out next turn, but if we're playing leader, we can't have that happen. And I'm not playing a Fawn out of my hand. Okay, we got Savala. That's nice. Savala, King of Beggars are gone. Okay, so we're down by 22. We might have to double play here. Like, we can't do this in one card unless this draws us, like, a Mage Assassin and something else really good. There's our Colgrim. Uh, Coded Weapons is not bad here, but we're going to do a Fawn. I don't want to renew this round, so we'll keep a Coded Weapons. We can use it on King of Beggars here. Give him another one. Like I said, they don't play any tributes other than this. So if we remove the King of Beggars here, he's not coming back out later on. And he's not giving him any tribute value. That being said, this is a little bit riskier because uh, he is playing the non-standard leader ability, so he might actually have a couple extra tributes. However, I don't think so. Almost none of these, basically none of these decks play any extra tributes other than the Savala combo. He will pass here, and I think we just play our, we just play Sunset Wanderers. He doesn't give us the card draw. But that's fine. He we he did what he wanted him to do, right? He's the one the round for us. Good job. Good job, Sunset Wanderers. Okay, now we have left we really if we get Fifion, which is very likely, we go for the 2-0 here. We've determined he's not playing like a Salmon or anything. He's not in jackpot. Um Okay, the reason we kept novice there is because we could return a card and try and find our Fifion, but we drew the Fifion. So we'll just novice right away. Probably put Renew back, honestly. Um, yes, yeah, put Renew back. That's for our round three. Our issue here is he could go through our Fifion with like, um, what's it called? I said this last game. He can go through the Fifion with a Bounty and a Spender. He can go through Fifion with more Elise and killing it. He can go through Fifion with the, uh, what's it called? A Freak Show. Okay, we could shuffle this Assassin on top. Okay, he did. we didn't shuffle the Assassin on top. Uh, if you do shuffle the deck and the assassin goes on top, it does actually just come off your deck. We have a clip of that one the highlight videos. Okay, so now he has... He can kill Fifi on here. But to do it, he has to lead her. Or play Sigi. I don't think he's running Sigi, so he's going to have to lead her to kill this. If he leaders to kill this, Colgrim still lives because he won't have enough coins to kill it. So we still play Colgrim next, even if this dies. That could be a problem. You know, I said we could put King of Beggars back because they don't have any more tributes, but that it might be a little risky since he's not using a standard leader ability. Yeah, there's a Fallen Rayla, so this is a heavy tribute deck. But the fact that he used those coins on the uh, Freak Show means we're probably okay, and hopefully Colgrim can outvalue whatever he has. This just comes down to how much value Colgrim can get us. I think he'll beat out whatever they have, and since he has no coins right now, our Colgrim's safe. But still, he has he had the Fallen Rayla the tribute deck. Giving an extra King of Beggars was a... Uh, well, I'm sure he wasn't too unhappy when he first saw it. Let's just go with that. But here, I think we still have enough points in our Colgrim. He'll outvalue. He can't kill this, so we have Letho Kingslayer. We have a 5 plus then 20. So we have a 25 point ceiling. Okay, good. He still had that. That's good for us. We didn't want him to have anything good. And we go to 41, or 36, because we got the 5 points from playing him. And he needs 20, yeah, because our Colgrim's trigger again, right? So we get another 20 points. GG, wasn't getting out of that one. What would I have changed? What do I think of all that good stuff? So this is a very simplistic deck. It's very easy to use. This is probably a good deck for newer people to the game, because you have a very, very straightforward strategy. You put stuff on top of their deck. You thin your deck via all the options you have here. And then in round two, you go for a Defender, Colgrim, Letho, then you renew the 
Lethoed Colgrim because it's bigger round three. That's pretty much what this comes down to. It's very easy to use. Um, a lot of the cards are very inflexible, like you need Wanderers, Renew, Kingslayer, Roach, Fifi, and Colgrim. You get the idea, you need these cards. Um, the only things you can really change are down here. You can change the bronzes. Is really all you've got flexibility in. I mean, sure, if you really want to, you can cut some of the upper cards like Roach and Nickers or like Menno in a tactic, but no one's doing that. But yeah, so the changes here, you can change Nilfgaardian Knight, Alba Armor Cavalry, Tortoise, and maybe one Novice. I would keep Cavalry. The lock's really valuable to keep your round one going and stop any engine shenanigans. Tortoise is the one you could probably change in Elf Guardian Knight. So the options that's probably best here are you could go with the Assassination if you want more control instead of the Elf Guardian Knight. I like the Elf Guardian Knight. Assassination is not a bad choice. As far as the, uh, what's it called? The Vico Varo Novice and Arnfen Tortoise slots. A Peller and it slash a Spores are really good choices. Uh, you don't have a big control tool, so removing a Defender isn't great if they have like a Caltellus behind it. But the Spores option is really good in a mirror match, for example. And the Peller is really nice if they lock your Colgrim, because that's something they do quite a bit. So a Peller is not a bad option here. And if you want to worry about graveyard stuff, you could throw in a Squirrel instead of these. That's pretty much what it comes down to. But other than that, deck's pretty well figured out. Um, Collar you can change too, by the way. I just like the control option round one. This could be a magic lamp, and then you can go through Dead Man's Tongue faster if you want to. But I like having the Collar. Yeah, this deck's pretty well established. It's pretty common. You got two buffs. You might see this on the ladder quite a bit. It's one of those decks that's kind of like an annoying gatekeeper, right? If, you're, if you don't have a big removal and a purify, um, you're in trouble. And that's what it comes down to. But you can play against it. To a play against this, you just try and win round one. And then you push out round two, all this stuff. But you have to be careful doing that. Because if you do that, well, um, they still have Colgrim. But you want to get rid of the Renew and such if possible. Uh, the best way to deal with this obviously is just have a Yurden. But most people don't have a Yurden. So you can play around it. Try and get everything messed up. All that good stuff. If there, there is a non-Renew version, by the way. If you don't want to play Renew. And just always go for a 2-0. You can thin your deck even more with some other cards. But I wouldn't recommend it. I'd keep the Renew for round 3 as an option. Pretty good. And yeah, hopefully this is helpful. And I did say I'd do this deck, so we did get around to it. took a little bit, but it's a pretty common deck. You'll probably see on the ladder, and I would say I hope you enjoyed it. I know this deck's really annoying to play against, so hopefully you enjoyed seeing uh, the other side for once, and we'll see you next time.